So welcome to video number eight. We're going to talk about sales funnel setup. So do you want to learn how to take everything that we've talked about previously and map out your products and services utilizing the JVZoo sales funnel feature? Well, within this feature itself, you can take all the products that you have added and now tell the system, Hey, I want this to be my front end offer. I want this to be my one time offer. And if somebody buys this, you know, send them here. Or if somebody doesn't want this, I can send them to a downsell. So this is what you've been waiting for. And this is, is going to help you set everything up. So let me go ahead and show you how. Okay. So before we jump right in and I show you how to set everything up, I want to make sure that I emphasize that and make it clear as far as adding a new product goes. If we go back over to here, every single one of these unique products has a unique sales page and has a unique download page. So do not use the same download page here and here. You need to make sure they're different. Now, as far as tracking purposes and making it easier for you when you get started, what I would recommend is maybe your front end offer, you would put the product name, but then anytime you would do something like this one time offer one, I would probably put product name OTO two. Now, obviously you can come back later after everything is set up and said and done, and then you can change the title. But initially, if you do this, it just makes it easier for you, especially if you've never done this before. Trust me, I've gone through the process. Things get confusing and it's just easier on you. And of course, like I said, when you're done, you can come back here and change the name. All right. So now that we have gone over that, Let's go back to lucid chart here. Now I'm not going to show you how to set things up just yet. I want you to actually follow through with an exercise. All right. So let's take a look at this. Once you have your flow chart in hand, right? So you got front end offer points to the one time offer, which then we have a down sale if people don't buy this. And then if they buy this, then they can be directed here and here. Now, let's just focus on this. All right. So what I want you to think is this, and I want you to type this out sort of like the if and then statements, if somebody buys the front end offer software, what happens then, then they see this, right? If they buy this, what happens then obviously they'll be forward here, right? They won't be forward to here. If they don't buy this, then they get sent here. If they buy this, then they get sent here. Now you see where it kind of gets complicated as you begin to add things. So the best thing that you can do is just follow me right now. Just follow this exercise. Let's simplify the process. All right. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go into notepad or, or word or anything that you desire but we're just going to write it down. So we're going to say, okay, this is my front end offer. So let's say if the, if you buy, let's say this here, then what happens? All right. So what happens after that? They are presented with the one time offer, right? So let's copy this. Now, while this may seem very simplistic, it is. And I'm just trying to make things easier for you. So let me make this bigger here. Then they see this. All right. So I'm going to make this all the same like that. Make it smaller. And I'm going to highlight this so that we know what to tell JVZoo. And within JVZoo, Actually, the reason why I'm doing this is because inside JVZoo, this is basically what you're going to see. So if you write it down now, you're, you're going to be good to go. So if you buy this, then they see this. All right. So let's go back over here. If they buy this, they, then they see this, right? If they don't buy this, then nothing happens. You, you don't have to write that down. So they just leave. 
So if they buy that, that happens. Okay, so let's start from here. All right, let's start it again. And let's just start a new row. So now we have the one-time offer, one. Let's just copy this here. And you can, you can actually simplify this further if you want. You can just say front end offer. If you buy the front end, then they see the one-time offer one. If you buy the one-time offer one, then what happens? Then they, let's see here. Then typically they'll see OTO number two, right? Now, what happens if they don't buy that? All right, so let's go back here. So if they buy this, then they are they see this, right? We see the arrows. Now, if they don't buy that, then they're forwarded here. So let's write that down. So we have this here, here, then they see this, and then they see that. If they don't buy, so let's write that down. If you don't or do not buy, OTO1, then you are sent to the OTO1 down sell, which we can just we can just call that down sell one. All right. Now, as you're looking at this, some of you might think, oh, this makes total sense. And some of you might be like, this doesn't really make sense, but I kind of get and I I'm kind of getting it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just converting what I see visually in the text, all right? So let me just stop here. Let's just stop here, all right? We don't need to go further, all right? So I've already made things a little bit more complicated, but we've gone here, all right? So I'm gonna keep that as is right there, and let's just leave it. Let's just leave it like this. All right, so what are we gonna do? How are we gonna do? Once you've done this, guess what? You're almost done. Once you have the products that you've already created, those products, once you follow this exercise, then you can get back over to JVZoo and just simply plug in what we have written right here. All right. So I'm going to show you this right now. So let me go back over here. I took some screenshots and it's super easy. All you have to do is go to sellers and sales funnels here, and then click the big orange button that says add a sales funnel, and then you'll be forwarded here. And then of course, it'll ask you to enter the name of the sales funnel. You enter that, and in this case, I named it JVZoo SF test. Now, obviously we don't see anything right now, but as we begin to add the front end product, we'll begin to see things build out. If you go here and it says add front end product. So all you have to do is click the drop down menu and select the product. So obviously if you have added the product, you will see that there and you can select it and click add. Once you have done that, you will see this. All right. So referring back here, it says customer buys front end product, which is going to be this product. So you're going to see this here customer buys whatever product that you select and then they see this product. So now JVZoo is going to give you the option to choose a product here. So if we refer back over here, if you buy front end, which is this one here, then you see OTO one. All right. So JVZoo is going to give you the option to select a drop down menu and all you have to do is click that drop down menu and find the one time offer one product that you have specified here all right okay so once that happens this will pop up these two items will pop up okay so oto and then this is going to be selected here so oto one whatever product that you select is going to appear here all right so let's refer back over here so we did this already which was the first row now the second row and the third row. So the second row says, if you buy the one time offer one, then you'll see OTO two. All right, so let's go back here. Second row here is if you buy OTO one, then you should see OTO two. So what you do is you click this drop down menu that says receipt right here. 
and then you choose OTO2. All right, so you click add there. And then it says, customer says no thanks to OTO1. All right, so let's refer back here. If you do not buy OTO1, then they see down sell one, all right? If they say no to one time offer one, what happens? They see down sell one, right? So the fact that you created down sell one as a product, all you have to do is select this drop down menu and select down sell one. Click add, you're done. <laughs> and that's that's how easy it is. Now, I'm gonna scroll down here, and I blurred these out because this is an actual product, so I don't need to show you my product, but what JVZoo will, it'll give you a funnel visual. Now, they're working on a beta, and they actually, they might update things in the future. So I wanna make note that if they do updates in the future, the process that I showed you beforehand is pretty much the same. Visually, everything is going to be, it might be different, but it's going to be the same as long as you understand those concepts. So, and that's really what took me forever to do was trying to figure out, okay, wh which goes where, what goes where, especially when you have so many one-time offers. Now, visually, this is going to be your front end offer. If they buy that, then they're presented with the once time offer one. If they don't buy that, they see the down sell one and then you can tell them, okay, after that, I want them to see OTO two, OTO three, and then you can bring them to different sections as you can see here. So OTO one, OTO two, o down sell two, OTO three, down sell three. So that's why I say, <laughs> make sure that you get a hang of just front end offer, and one OTO first before you actually begin to add everything later down the road. All right, so that's basically it. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to get the buy button. So obviously you can see there's a buy buttons button here, but I'm gonna explain a little more detail in that particular video. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.